me 3200 now i'm very comfortable with doing after i see the results here we go this is after topaz denoise ai and that is just that's incredible to me hello everyone today i'm going to be dealing with post-processing again and we're going to be removing noise from photos i selected a few photos here that range from ISO 1600 and up and that's on my Canon 7D Mark II which is a cropped sensor where and you do get quite a bit of noise on that. I used to use Lightroom, the little sliders um, at the bottom of Lightroom there to reduce noise but now I don't touch those and I use a different program which I'm going to show you here today so I'm going to share my screen and show you guys the process. I've picked up four images here that we're going to try that we're going to remove noise from. I've started with an image that is ISO 1600. I don't think there's any point of me removing noise from an, an image that's lower than that because uh, even Lightroom could deal, deal with that fine. Uh, what I'm really interested in this program to do is actually fix the images that are really noisy. So let's start with this one. Here is a cold tit that I took up north uh, just a little while ago. Uh, it was in the video where I was talking about backgrounds and it was in the garden. Uh, it was from, there was feeder next to it, but it landed in a perfect little, you know, vertical branch. And uh, it's just a really nice, kind of look back and everything. So I really quite like this image. And this is after I've done my, my usual edits in Lightroom and Photoshop, which I showed you in the last video. And as you can see here now, I've not done anything to try and fix any noise. And that's what we're going to use this new program called Denoise AI by Topaz. And let's see, edit in. So it kind of automatically adds itself as a little, you can get a shortcut to it here on Lightroom and Photoshop, whichever one you usually go from. I usually, I like to do it from Lightroom because it's a bit more organized. That's where I have my library and everything. Okay, so here we've zoomed in 100% here and we're gonna do update preview. I usually leave this at the default settings to begin with and that it kind of sets these itself, remove noise 0 0.15, enhance sharpness 0 0.15 and recover details as zero. Uh, the only times I start messing about with that is I tend to go a bit further with it um, when an image is, uh, it really needs it when it's really high ISO and it's got a lot of noise. And I often need to go further with noise and further with uh, recover details or sharpness. But right now, let's just update this. So here we see that's the effect in, and I just think that's an absolutely amazing result. Um, I mean, that background is just spotless. So then let's just go full screen here. And this is then the first. Um, this is the image as it was, and then jump in here. And we'll see this is after Topaz. This is after Topaz denoise. You see, that is a big, big difference. I just love it keeps, you know, keeps the detail in the bird. That was the ISO 1600. Uh, let's move on here to the next image, ISO 2000. Uh, this is what I just took the other day, actually. All the field fairs are coming in for the, um, for the autumn. And here it's going to feed on these hawthorn berries. So as you can see here, this is a cropped image and done up. Um, so I'll kind of finished, um, finished my edit with this. And you can see there's quite a bit of noise here at 2000. 2000 is a place that I don't often like to go uh, with the Canon 7D Mark II. So let's just see what the noise can do with that. Let's do a split here before and after. This is the before and this is the after. Before, after. <laughs> that's just crazy. I, I absolutely love this. And I love the how simple it is. Like that's it. One click of a button there. I'm happy with that. Apply, save it to Lightroom and next image. Right, so now we brought in the image of the red deer, and this was at ISO 3200, 3200. So here I actually had to bump these sliders up a little bit. I've gone to, done the noise slider up to 25, um, enhanced sharpness up to 20, and recovery details up to 10. I don't know if I need to go that far, I could probably back it up a bit, but this seems to work pretty good right now. 
And so this here you can see there's, there's a lot of noise in the background. A bit on the deer here. And there we go. That's how it looks after denoise done its thing. I mean, the background is absolutely superb in the fur here. And the sharpness of that eye in some of the fur here is just absolutely amazing. So I'm very happy with that. And I'm just going to apply that effect. So that was an ISO 3200, something that I rarely shoot with for the Canon 7D Mark II. But you know, now that I know that I have a program that can handle it, I'm probably going to bump it up a bit more. Not be so afraid, anyways. When I need, when I need that extra uh, shutter speed, and just bump up the ISO a bit more, because, I yeah, like I said, I'm really happy with these results. And I hear going back in the catalog. This is from Thailand. Oh, I can't remember this bird. What it was again? Was it a Prini or something? I can't remember the name of it. But as you see, this was ISO 4000. And this was also with my old uh, Tamron um, lens, 150 to 600. Um, this is the first edition of that. So uh, I think it's, it's not as sharp to begin with. And ISO 4000, significant noise. I mean, there's, there's a lot of noise here. And it's probably a little bit soft already. So I don't have, you know, like absolutely crazy expectations that this would be an outstanding image. But let's see what um, let's see what denoise can do with it. There we go. So that is before uh, you see ISO four thousand. It's quite a noisy image. Uh, using denoise, um, bumping up the sliders a little bit, just get rid of that noise overall feel through the image. There's a little bit some places on the bird to keep detail, but that is just an amazing result. And that is something I never, I was never able to do that before in Lightroom. And I'm not, I'm not good enough in Photoshop to do that sort of thing. So super happy with that. And I picked another image here, which is just over the top, ridiculous. It's the noisiest thing ever. And it's a fox. So let's just show you this thing here. So this was um, probably, it was over a year ago when I was in Cramen outside of Edinburgh. And I was walking down to the shore and out of the corner of my eye, down this little alley or this street here, I see a fox. Um, and just kind of, luckily I remember to just don't look at it, don't stop and just keep moving. And like some kind of a Navy SEAL operation, it felt like I could duck down as soon as the fence, as soon as I was out of view, I ducked down behind this fence. I dialed in some settings and I just you know, cranked the, up the ISO as high as I could. Uh, and I left it at 180th of a second. It's not as high as I could, but I bumped it up to 10,000. And I don't know if you've ever tried with a crop sensor or something like the Canon 7D Mark II to use ISO 10,000. It is usually, it is not, it is not something that, that camera does. It just isn't. Um, and I still have to go with 180th of a second. And as you can see here, this is the image that I came out with. And it is, you know, it's, I, I wouldn't quite call that, a, you know, a great image. It's got a cool feel to it, um, but, as you can see here, this is just noisy, 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 and it's already, you know, the detail isn't amazing in it. Um, so this is, you know, this is beyond, uh, almost beyond repair, but it's, I, I like the image. I really like the experience. I want to see what I can get from this image. So ISO 10,000, here we go. Let's see what we can do. And from experience now, having done the other images, there's no way this is going to be enough. So we're going to bump that up to 25 right away. Enhance sharpness, same thing. Probably recover details up to 15. Let's just see what that does. Okay, so back in Lightroom here. And let's go back here and check this image out full screen. That's the original, original image, ISO 10,000. And as you can see, there is a lot of noise here. And using denoise and bumping up the slider quite a bit. And then here you go. So that is, I mean, it's a significant improvement, definitely. I think it is a bit soft around here, but I can't be sure if that's because I was shooting 180th of a second. Um, 
and it was a little bit soft to begin with because uh, th there's a lot of detail that's just not here and it's just it's pretty incredible looking at the overall image but that's pretty decent i mean that's decent enough to share on social media and really just for me uh, because of the experience like that experience was just an amazing experience to me and i loved it uh, so really cool to, to see it fix it that well on such an extreme ISO for that camera. Here we go. This was for the one I took in Thailand and this was ISO 4000. And here's using denoise. That's, I mean, that's really good. Really, really good. If you zoom in, yes, you can see that it's a little bit soft here, but I think it was a little bit soft to begin with because of the lens I was using. But that's pretty outstanding for ISO 4000. Then we got the Red Deer image in uh, on Isle of Mull, and this was ISO 3200. And that's something that I, I, I wish I would bump it up, to, could bump it up to 3200 a lot more. And that's something that I will start doing now after I see the results with this one. So this is like, this is the limit to me, 3200 now, I'm very comfortable with doing after I see the results. Here we go. This is after Topaz Denoise AI, and that is just, that's incredible to me. That's just stunning. The sharpness here is just brilliant. Um, even zooming in here, this is, yeah, love this. So now I feel, I feel like I have no problem here using ISO 3200 um, when I go out. And I used to not even like to be at ISO 1600. Here we go for ISO 2000, the field fair that I took probably last week or something like that. Um, and it's not actually, it's too bad noise, but there's definitely a lot of noise here. It's probably so bright you can't see it that well. And then we go into denoise and it's just, it smooths it out completely. Can't see any of it. Amazing. And here we go, ISO 1600, which I find myself constantly using. Uh, and here, see, there's quite a bit of noise here. And <clears throat> then we run it through denoise, and here's what we get. That is absolutely perfect to me. So, yeah, that is just something I wouldn't be able to some results that I wouldn't get, um, I just wouldn't get using Lightroom. And some of you guys know of other methods to remove noise, but I'm loving this process. The downsides that I can find are that it's a little bit slow, but that's to do, that's a lot to do with my laptop, which is a little bit slow and a bit old. And it costs $80. But that to me was a no brainer. I, uh, I did a 30 day free trial and pretty much on the first day having used Pretty much on the first day having used it, I decided I'm going to buy it, and I did, because it is just, it's a really good program, and it just it means that I can be shooting in a lot more darker situations. With, with birds like this is what I want. I want a slightly higher shutter speed. And to do that, I need to crank up the ISO. So if you're in a crop sensor and you're struggling with ISO as well, I, just, I can't recommend this program enough. There's, uh, there's a link below, and that is an affiliate link. Uh, so I get a small commission if you use it, and I really appreciate it if you use it. It helps me out a bit. It's a 30-day free trial, so you don't really have anything to lose. Check it out. See if it works for you. You know, get it. If it doesn't, scrap it and stick with your old method or something else that works better for you. But this works really well for me, and I'm super happy with it. So um, that's it. That's how I uh, do, deal with my noise these days. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next time, I promise, I'll be back out in the field to do some wildlife photography and I'll bring you guys along. So I'll see you then. Bye.